What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are playing Super Auto Pets. I will be showing you the newest pack, which is the Golden Pack. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the top strategies for this one. Obviously it depends what RNG Jesus decides to give us. Uh, really bad ending up with one of the worst cards, actually, <laughs> Spy Tamarin. Uh, level 1 that requires trumpets and spends trumpets. Come on, man. We don't need that crap. Uh, so we'll just take what we are given here. Um, goose, uh, gooses don't actually do anything to bulldogs. It's nice to have these in front. Usually they're putting low health minions in the front because of goose. Uh, so we'll just grab chipmunk and possum and we will go from here. Actually very high statted um, early game for round one. So we should be okay here. We are going to be the silly fudder dudders. Silly fudder dudders. Let's get right into it. Yep, Goose get wrecked. Even trade, even trade. And if our last two had been switched around, but what a coulda, shoulda. Yeah, no. So we could just grab this. It's gonna be Bulldog stacked and then double Goose. Not terrible. It's not really good either, though. These are some of the worst cards for building a late game. I think I'm gonna go for it since we have many duplicates. Uh, maybe having the two goose together would be better. Mm. Mm. I think that's what I'm actually going to do. But a dotish. We're going to go double goose like this. I know goose has a better ability, but usually taking two attack off the front creature, they're usually not putting a three attack creature in front anyway. Uh, we'll roll night as well. My gosh, we're we'll getting some upgrades. All right, so looked at likes. Looks like it worked out for now. We are gonna try to jump to tier three and see what we can get. We'll have some extra options. They actually did put a three attack guy in the front. <laughs> looks like Bulldog's making a good trade. We're gonna have to have a. Uh, we're gonna have a golden retriever to deal with. Looks like we can do that. And yes, looks like the three three goose got it done there. So we'll see what we are presented. Just with a stout, we will combine you first. Ooh, Weasel! I'll take Weasel. Gazelle. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I think that this is the time I'm going to actually sell the possum. And I'm going to buy whichever one that hits. I guess I'm going to sell... Having an extra roll here to see if we can find a gazelle would be nice. Um, I could get rid of the chipmunk right now. I think let's just go with the strongest build. So I'm going to sell chipmunk. And by stout. We only have four, but we have a really strong build. Osprey does have to be a little bit further up. Because the groundhog makes a trumpet, so that'll give us an extra 1-1. One, one. But yeah, this is... We only have four guys, but they're very high-statted. And we're also getting extra gold next turn. See if we can find a gazelle, which is going to utilize that extra gold the best here. Man's got water buffalo, or whatever this is called, musk ox. I don't care what you're called. All I care is that we get trophies. Ah, uh, stout's really interesting to grab here, because we could theoretically get a duplicate of something for next turn. Which is very cool. What else am I really looking for? I'm gonna actually try Stout. Let's go. Here's the Lizard. I don't see this happening as a Lizard build. Since we don't really have any ways of giving Lizard extra health and we have Weasel. Let's see if we can find a Gazelle. It would be very nice. There's a Gazelle. Hell yeah. So now I'm going to get rid of, I think, Bulldog, which is probably the weakest here. Goose actually is good re removing that attack. It'll make the weasel make good trains. So get rid of Bulldog, grab Gazelle, which is going to benefit a lot from this extra gold we're getting. We roll, and uh, yeah, instead of selling things, I'm just going to invest more into the Gazelle here. Should be fine. It's a card we're definitely working on building to high stats. Okay. <laughs> Getting good shots from Osprey. 
the 4-4. Four, four. The buff paying its dividends. Here we go. The 6-6. Six, six. That hurts. But yep, we win. Easy. Ta-da! Wow, so we end up with double avocado, which is so cool. I think first order of business is to sell the stoat and actually see what we get right now. Tier 3, really important tier here. I am going to sell you now. And we are going to get a 1-1 one, one copy of something that's not terrible. It's really not terrible. Um, I am going to avocado, avocado. Question is, should I grab Osprey for an upgrade? It's probably overall worth it. I can also sell the goose this turn if we get something good. Oh, we do? In fact, I'm just going to sell goose. What's better, the beta fish or the goose? Actually, we don't even have to sell the goose. I'm just going to sell the beta fish. If you think about stoat, it's kind of like a pig. Like, you can sell it for two gold, which is what we're doing here. Selling beta fish, and we're going to grab an extra. So this is actually going to give us two gold now next turn, which is amazing. And yeah, the gazelle looks like we are on our way to building a really solid gazelle lineup. The gazelle looks like it's small, looks like we're investing a lot, but really getting extra gold is just so good anyway. So one of my favorite cards, Weasel, bites the dust there. This, it's so cool. The Osprey just being a 5-5 five five deals with so many, um, you know, it took out like a whole lizard there. He wasn't able to do anything with that with it so the main cards we're looking for is another osprey more gazelles would always help and weasels i don't think we need flea is so cool because we are going to be weak actually no this is an 11 12 guys look at this because we did the avocados let's look and actually try to optimize what we do in here definitely don't need more of you i'm also not going to start giving weasels chocolate cake i'm not a very big fan of it because it's just investing into gold next turn. I'm a big fan of chocolate cake. Avocados, you grab blindly. We're just rolling a lot here. And not getting a whole lot to say for it. Um, we could go baboon. It'll buff either weasel or osprey. I always regret getting baboons. This is also means we're getting one fewer gold. It doesn't, this doesn't, can't ever be worth it, right? To have less gold next turn. Next turn when we're in round four. Pivotal. This lettuce looks pretty cool, though. At least for short term. It's hitting three cards. All right, we'll grab lettuce. Just to help us get some early trophies. Kind of sad that we are... We're literally looking for another weasel, osprey, or gazelle, and we're just not finding them. Uh, I guess avocado would be better than lettuce. Here's osprey. Okay. Now, should I upgrade now, or should I be looking for an early level 5? I am going to look for an early level 5, so I'm going to freeze that. I'll freeze... There's a whole bunch of, of uh, useful items, so I don't have to freeze an apple right now. And there's a gazelle. We'll take. Alright, so I'll be doing the Osprey upgrade next turn, and we'll see what happens. This is a really strong board. This is just... Round six here. Smack. We'll get one. Oh my gosh. He's going, he has flying fish and sea turtles, so these tails. Oh man, he got another tail. Really sad. It looks like that's a loss, actually, because the lizard had one extra health. All right. I'll take an L on that. I really don't like flying fish. It upgrades, you know, something to the next level, which is so good in the early game and terrible in the late game. It just seems like it ruins good good, good runs, you know? Alright, so let's combine the... Oh, man, this is really, really, really cool. Let's combine the Ospreys. And we got an early Fox. Are you kidding me? Fox is the ultimate. The ultimate gold card. Being able to get this right on Tier 4, you have a Fox already that we're going to be able to pump stats into with Sea Lion. This is going to be giving us so much gold. I mean, so much. Holy moly with that. So the qu oh man, we have secretary where we have so many things going, but I gotta just go for fox. So I'm gonna go sea lion, give the fox some stats, 
It's so interesting how the goose makes you removing two attack from the first guy will make this front line fox. It's just where the fox is going to be. It makes it really cool. I even get rid of the osprey here. I can combine these. Make fox. Get rid of goose and do sea lion instead. Probably extra health eventually. This is only two attacks. So one health is basically the same. I can even just buff stats into this. This is so lucky though. So I'm going to combine these. Still like the weasels here. It's going to be giving extra gold. We buy fox. We ditch goose. We'll buy sea lion. Giving health to everything should be fine. So we'll have this in the back line. Uh, we're not going to worry about secretary bird for now. Oh, man, giving this an apple. <laughs> this would be really cool. Um, I wonder if we just invest in more into fox. What are we looking for? We're looking for a gazelle or a weasel would be nice. And we're really just looking for stats. We're also looking, obviously, for avocados. Um, Alright, let's roll. Here's some lettuce. I think because giving stats to the... This is three pets current shop tier or higher. It's not like the baboon. Giving this stats... So funny, we got slugs right after we got rid of that secretary bird. But this will give this, this a 1-1. One, one, and we also have sea lions that we're able to buff. Um... Osprey's making two. You know, this will actually be a 6-6. Six, six. I, I wonder if I just get rid of Osprey, buy a slug, and then hit hit three minions with these lettuces. Is that crazy? This is like a 7-7 seven, seven that makes two. This will already be a 6-6. Six, six. It'll make a 2-2 two, two, and then a 1-1, one, one, and we can combine slug next turn. I could also just get rid of the weasel at this point. Interesting decisions. What's better right now? The Osprey shorts or the Weasel is going to be giving us one extra gold. It's unlikely. We're, we're probably just ditching the Weasel as soon as possible. It's one extra gold every turn. I'm gonna... Actually, if we get rid of Weasel, we're only going to be at eight. So if we buy double lettuce, it doesn't work. All right. Screw it. I'm ditching Osprey. We're pivoting to you. And I'm going to buy double lettuce and that's going to be giving the silver fox a whole bunch and we will actually freeze you now so we can buy you next turn and hopefully get a bigger slug but the slug is going to come in handy we have the two gold makers in the front since we need this to actually be attacking so that is going to be making two gold this turn and then we need this to die before we win the round yikes on bicycles do we have enough here uh uh, no. That's an L. Too bad. So it's gonna be Slug. Roll. We really should be investing into the Fox, because that is what is gonna carry us. I wonder if I should just buy an Unmanatee instead of the Weasel here. <sighs> because just giving Silver Fox as much stats as possible is gonna carry us in this run here. I think I will. I think I'm gonna do it. Bye, Weasel. Roll. Avocado. We can also do lettuce. No, avocado. So this is gonna go off. It's gonna have so much stats. 7 Eleven right now. Pretty damn good. Yeah, Fox only made one goal. Very sad they had a front line. Just kind of luck at that point. This will at least finish it off, but there's no way we're dealing with a 12-12 Golden Retriever, so that's another L. Ugh, until we can get this Fox buffed more, it's going to be a little bit rough in here. That's just how this goes. We're scaling every single turn, so we just have to not lose two more rounds. Um, we are looking now... We're looking for upgrades. It would be nice to get a Bird of Paradise or something like that early. So we're looking for definitely Gazelle, Slog, another Fox would be nice. Um, I could do the thing where you can put Banana Manatee and then when it kills itself, it actually gives you a monkey, which is pretty good. I think I'm going to do that. Man, we got some good, strong guys here. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we have room for Manta. We anyway have Fox. I'm gonna actually do this, which is insane. We'll start working towards a monkey. Here's a slug. Cobra. 
Cobra is another card you need to invest resources into, and then it becomes very good. I, I think because we have the Fox, though, I, I don't think we're going to be able to afford this right now. I'm going to buff Sea Lion. Unfortunately, we're going to leave Cobra on the table. Uh, we'll grab Avocado. Roll. Double Manatee. We're not upgrading that. Oh, we're leaving so... Here's another Fox, though. We're leaving so many good cards on the table here, but we are all in on this Fox. This thing, we need this to hit a second time. We have an 11-15 too, but it really just depends what we get matched up against here. Opponent has a Fox. Ours is hitting three times though, so love to see that. That monkey also just helps give you some stats in the meantime here. But yeah, we're good. Gazelle's gonna kick some tush. It didn't have anything big enough to contest it. We still got two hearts. So, Fox is going up to level 2 now, and we'll see what RNG Jesus decides to give us here. <laughs> Cow, it's a good card. It doesn't work with this build at all, though. Not at all. So, um, Slug actually wants to get extra attacks. So I'll put that behind the Sea Lion. Slight consideration here. Slug's uh, attack matters way more than the health. That's kind of disposable. I don't even know. We're probably not even keeping the slug long term. I mean, I could get rid of slug. Ugh. What are we really looking for here? <laughs> I don't even know. Looking for more foxes? We gotta keep some stats on the field, though. Man, should I just get Highland Cow? It means you're getting six trumpets. I can't be right to do that right now. Double manatee. La, 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 la. It means getting a tier 6 early. I think these manatees heal up, though, from the fox. I think if when you start combining them, it'll actually gain its 11 health back. And we want this to die and just become a monkey as soon as possible. So, no. Na, 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 na. Yeah, we are just rolling. Here's another gazelle. Love to see it. <laughs> Come on, the cow, man. Uh, here we go. Love chocolate. Always freeze that. And gazelle. All right. Let's see if we can make it through here. So this is the secret in Golden Pack. It's possible to actually have a monkey. The only way to do it is give a manatee a banana, and then when it finally kills itself. This is a permanent monkey on our team, which is going to be giving two, three stats to the front line. The perfect combo to do this with is with Fox, because you want to put as much of your resources into one guy. Ah, uh, and that's a win? We'll take the we'll take the trophy there. Man. So, hell yeah. This is a 13-18 right now. Um, we are looking right now to pivot as soon as possible into a um, Bird of Paradise is what we need. So I'm actually going to hold the chocolate. We can also give the monkey. See, monkey is a 2-3 buff. It's so cool. I'll put this in the back line. Um, the monkey is giving 2-3 stats to the silver fox every single turn. So we're going to want to actually ditch the slug and get a bird of paradise as soon as possible. You can also level up the monkey by giving it chocolate. Maybe I'll actually look for that first. And we'll see if we can get a bird of paradise. It would be really nice. Um, so double avocado should be the way. There's nothing interesting here anyway. No, 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 no. But yeah, this is going to be gaining an extra 2-3 here. It's really good. And we're still, again, scaling really, really hard. We're getting extra stats from Sea Lion and from Monkey every single turn. Yeah, this is a trick. And it's really nice that I was able to show this to you. Look at the fox, though. So this fox is making six extra gold for this next turn. It hit three times. Our most powerful guy got hit. But it doesn't matter. He just doesn't... He doesn't have enough. He doesn't have enough. No. We win. We win. Barely. <laughs> but that's another win. So we're at seven trophies now. And the moment we get a bird of paradise is even going to be better. Look at the gazelle being a 30-36. This thing is scaling, boys. 
So now what? Nothing here is super useful. We're just going to roll, and we can roll as much as we want. Um, we don't have a four higher. When you're running Gazelle or Lizard, which are two very keepable two drops, this is only a 2-2 two -two buff. I'm not going to go for it. We are really just looking for a Bird of Paradise that we're going to be able to spend all of this gold accumulated by the Fox to be able to get a lot of buffs. I know Grizzly Bear, Grizzly Bear looks really, really tempting. But I'm not spending any resources on it yet, man. Um, we could go for Octopus here. I, I, I don't even need the Slug anymore. I'm just going to ditch this by Octopus, and we'll keep rolling here and see what... Really, really, we need a Bird of Paradise. I guess we'll get Fox. Fox, you can level to level 3. It's worth it. Crane is nice, too. Did not see a bird of paradise yet, which is really unlucky. We're wasting so we're burning through so much gold, but there's not It's so valuable. This will give us a six drop here. I Guess we're keeping this in the meantime. Anyway, we don't we're not going for warthog Can we please have a bird? This PETA is really really good on the gazelle. It's also really good on the It's really good on the fox too. Uh, we will do it on the gazelle just to be able to survive short term and no Bird of Paradise, unfortunately, so we'll hold on to Chocolate. We can level the Fox next turn. Um, but yeah, we're still throwing stats. We can, we'll probably actually, well, should we level the Monkey or the Fox? But yeah, we have high stats besides for all this extra resources we're getting every single turn. We have such high stats. Look at the Gazelle gaining 15 extra health. It's just going to roll through the rest of this team. Come on, man. That's how it's done. Hell yeah, so we're at 8 trophies now. So now what? Here's here's a PETA. We'll give that to our Fox, as that's what it needs. I'm gonna buff... I think we gotta buff Fox, right? Bird of Paradise, please? German Shepherd doesn't help us. Here's an avocado. Pretty brainless. Here's the bird. Okay, here we go. Here we go. See, we have... Oh! We're down to one, maybe. We burned through that really fast. Here's another fox, too bad. Um, we could keep hold on to the seal still. Uh, we could also like ditch it for something else and then be able to have blue ringed octopus. I think I'm going to look for level 2 bird of paradise in the meantime. But yeah, we're still getting so many stats here on this fox. And we'll be making, since it's level 3 fox, we'll be making 9 gold. This gazelle's going to be... It's not very big this turn because we didn't actually buy like any avocados and stuff. But look at the stats. Look at them. This hopefully is not a loss. Ah, so we're taking our last heart that we can spare. But now we have 22, and this bird of paradise is gonna <laughs> it's gonna do some fun stuff. Why don't we get this to level two ASAP? And we got it. Hell yeah. So it's giving two two buffs ever for every seven gold we're spending. We're gonna get another six six worth of buffs. From Bird of Paradise here, man. Uh, I'll get rid of the sea lion as soon as these these guys' health are are uh, are maxed. I could do it already too. This is only giving two two health to four things. I really could just start investing in oysters. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm ditching the sea lion now. The thing the oyster does is it, it's gonna give the Bird of Paradise since you're buying it for three, selling it for four. It's gonna give the Bird of Paradise a whole extra cycle of seven gold. So I'm going to get rid of you. We are investing in oysters already. We want to sell the oyster so it's not getting hit by the bird of paradise. It's only hitting three things. Um, we roll. We buff. Uh, yeah, let's buff Monkus. I think it's time. Here's another bird. We'll, we'll go for more birds. Um, this might be a good time to invest in this crane just for this round. I think I will, because this again helps the gazelle get a whole extra attack. Unfortunately, it got hit. I, I should have looked at the Bird of Paradise, but we still have, we're getting another buff from the bird. <laughs> so great. Uh, I'll put the bird second to last because uh, tomatoes are going to be killing it. They won't be killing the monkey. The monkey's stronger though. It's rolling. It's rolling. I could just build Crane. You know what? I think Crane's just going to be our last guy now. Crane is a, is a really good option uh, for a build like this. We're going to freeze the avocado, which we're always going to want next turn. 
And does anything else need a PETA? Not really. Not yet. Eventually, once this Bird, bird of Paradise starts maxing things out. We only got two more, though, so... Yeah, we're good. Look at the 3949. And again, once it gets hit, it's going to gain melon armor, which will give it a whole extra life. Just the fox itself. Look how strong it is. It's just going to it's going to take out most of his team. It'll kill the falcon that's not even going to have a chance. Kills the golden retriever. I mean, get wrecked, guy. This is this is one of the absolute you're seeing right now with the absolute premier strategies. In this game, this is last round, so maybe I don't even do avocado. So avocado is only useful if we are, um, it's only useful if we draw here exactly. You know what? I'm going for the win. Screw it. I'm not playing for a draw. Absolute domination here. I could start doing tomatoes. There's any people who have a backline at this stage in the game. I honestly don't like tomato because if they have an important backline thing that's going to be hit by it, they're always going to be giving it potatoes. I'm not even going to invest in that. We got chocolate. Let's go. So I guess we'll give it to Crane. It's unlikely we're going to get another Bird of Paradise. We could. It's just not going to matter, though, because we don't even need buffs. So Crane's going to be giving two times. It's going to be giving Melon Armor to the Gazelle. Um... Uh, 33 or 35. I'm actually going to put it here because the fox is going to be the one that um that actually has extra health. It's going to benefit. Mm, it's going to benefit more from the extra attack that this gives to. So that's awesome. Um, I wonder if I just pretzel something. No, 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 no. I I do I would like this to be at 50. So let's actually pretzel that to 49. Ah, roll. Here's some chocolate. Who's gonna get chocolate? It's very unlikely for us to level anything at this point. No, 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 no. In fact, it's impossible. Well, we can level because it's not gonna really matter. The chocolate never matters right now. We're really just looking for stats. I'd like you to be up to 50. Can we? Bird of Paradise? Yeah, so that's at 50 health. That's just where we want it to be. Uh, we roll. And I guess we'll just take the last item. I'll put it on, I don't know, just in case we... The most useful one is probably the bird, but it's the least likely to level at this point. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. We should be okay here, guys. So we have, of course, one heart left. Uh, I should have considered putting the gazelle in the front to get that buff from the monkey. Did not think of that. But that's melon armor, which is going to give it an extra life, and it gets melon armor again, and it survives again. Look at the look at the crane carrying this round. Gazelle's getting 15 extra health, and it's going to absolutely rob them, guys. So that is a perfect example, a perfect example how to build gazelle. I mean, this was the miracle because we got uh, the fox early. So this is. This is one way to do it. You go with Manatee Monkey. I'm so happy I could show you that secret. You're buffing the fox. The gazelle's automatically getting buffed because the fox is gaining so much. Bird of Paradise utilizes all that gold to spread the love. And one of the best creatures you can get as your fifth one really is the crane because the crane carried there. The crane made the fox attack two extra times, which is 41. I mean, it really was doing at the end, it was doing 50 damage. A whole extra a huge minion making a good trade. All right, guys, that was amazing. So that was the gazelle build. It's one of the three big, you know, major builds. And this, the others would be, of course, summons with German Shepherd, which I'll show you. And like a lizard is something you can build. There's a couple other strats though too, but this is probably well, this is definitely one of the strongest ones. This was a great run. That is definitely going on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace. This is Fry.